First and foremost, we are all grateful that Bronny quickly reached stable condition and is doing okay. Nothing is more important than knowing that he's recovering, so we all wish nothing but the best to Bronny and his entire family through this difficult time. And in even better news, what we were all waiting to hear, LeBron James took to Twitter to publicly address the Bronny situation, and in a big sigh of relief for all of us rooting for Bronny, LeBron said all is well and that his family is together and safe. Many of us are still in shock with what happened earlier this year to DeMar Hamlin. Full safety DeMar Hamlin collapsed on the field after he suffered a cardiac arrest while playing against the Cincinnati Bengals. And knowing how scary that was, hearing news like this scares you to death, especially when you consider that we've seen two instances of cardiac arrest already this year in two young athletes. Bronny is just 18 years old. And not too long ago, in fact, it was just earlier this summer it was announced that Bronny has committed to USC to play his college ball. Breaking news here on CBS Sports HQ, the son of LeBron James, Bronny James, made it official on Saturday committing to USC. After months and months of speculation, Bronny James officially committed to USC as a top 20 recruit, and his path to the NBA got momentously serious. LeBron James has, of course, been more than vocal about his son's growth and how he's progressing as a hooper, and what these coming years could mean for both he and Bronny. After the Lakers beat the Warriors in Game 3 at the Crypt this past postseason, LeBron commented on this moment like the super proud dad he is and, understandably, had some serious emotion, saying, This is the first one out of the James gang to go to college. A great moment for our family. But being the first one out of the James family to make it to college is perhaps one of the last things on Bronny's mind right now after a tragedy like this struck. But it was just a July ago when another USC athlete collapsed during a workout on campus. Vincent Iwuchiku tragically suffered a cardiac arrest the same way we saw it transpire with Bronny recently. In Vincent's case, he was back on the court within six months, and of course, given how young these guys are, we wouldn't expect Bronny to be out for too long, at least we all hope. But again, the only thing that matters is that he recovers quickly and gets plenty of treatment so we can all see this talented kid continue to chase his dream. There's been a lot of speculation of what might have caused this incident, but I won't be the one to assume, tell you guys fake news, or get into any unnecessary political parts of this. I guess we'll just have to wait on the James family to let us know. Now, for the elephant in the room, Everyone who's followed basketball over the past couple of years knows that there is just one last milestone left on LeBron James list that he is desperately trying to check off. And that will be playing with his son Bronny one day in the NBA. Who do you want to play with? Bronny is number one on my list. Whether that's as Bronny's teammate, which would be wild, or as opponents. Just a minor setback for a big comeback, Bronny. We're all rooting for you. After finishing high school averaging 14 points, six boards, and two and a half assists in four years, Bronny is now looking to take the rapid shift in his young career and truly prove his stock as a hands-down five-star recruit. As of today, and there are multiple rankings in different websites that do this, but Bronny is now ranked as a five-star recruit by On3 after finishing up high school, while ESPN and 24-7 still have Bronny ranked as a four-star recruit. Obviously, it's still relatively early and a lot can change, especially with his minor setback Bronny is dealing with now. Coming back from this and playing his best basketball is going to impress even more in the eyes of scouts and NBA GMs. Bronny's freshman season is going to be ultra thrilling to sit back and watch as his stock as a prospect will inevitably change, hopefully for the better. While I don't mean to jump the gun on this, let's be honest. The vast majority are rooting for Bronny to go berserk in his freshman season because, first and most importantly, we all love a great comeback. And secondly, really, really soon, for the first time and maybe the only time, we'll ever see the first father-son to play in the NBA at the same time. Now, before I get too excited and way ahead of myself, allow me to take this opportunity to hammer home a point that I feel enough people aren't talking enough about. This is the type of pressure Bronny's felt since he was entering high school. And I know LeBron doesn't mean it in the slightest bit to heap any pressure on Bronny, but LeBron said a year ago, wherever Bronny is at, that's where I'll be. I would do whatever it takes to play with my son for one year. It's not about the money at that point. Hearing things like that doesn't exactly make things much easier for Bronny, who's already by far the most famous teenage athlete on the planet with his nearly 8 million IG followers. And we all know what comes with the territory of being the son of, 
Forget an all-time great athlete. We're talking about being the son of an athlete that is in the GOAT conversation in his sport. Can you imagine what that must feel like for Bronny when he sits back and thinks to himself like, yo, I gotta be LeBron? Well, I'll say this much. Whether he becomes LeBron or not, that's all they're gonna talk about. To Bronny's credit, though the noise and all that's been said about him for a few years now, he's impressively stood up tall and has only gotten better and better as his game, and, well, his age, has matured. Which is just why I believe in this kid's mental and physical toughness so much and fully expect he'll come back to the court stronger and better than ever. Bronny wasn't exactly regarded as a premier prospect early in his career, as he ranked as ESPN's number 49 recruit in his class entering his junior year at Sierra Canyon School. While other recruiting outlets had him ranked even lower, as the knock on Bronny at the time was that he had work to do in establishing himself as a surefire major college player. Of course, Bronny is coming off super solid outings on two of the biggest games and stages for high school prospects that essentially confirmed his status as a top shelf prospect. The McDonald's All-American and Nike Hoop Summit games, as well as scrimmages leading up to those events, really helped raise Bronny's ranking and showed scouts that he truly can become that major college player that they had doubts about in previous years. Now, stepping back briefly from the analytics, the comparisons, the hype, both good and bad, we can at least take a look at Bronny from face value and understand who he truly is as a basketball player. Six foot three and counting, hopefully for his sake, 180 or so pounds who can definitely jump out of the gym like his dad, and from what we saw during his four years of high school, he's got a super smooth stroke. This, in a nutshell, screams the fact that Bronny has all the tools to succeed at the next level. Now, granted, shooting in high school is different than shooting in college, and certainly in the NBA, but I'd say that he'll one day be looked at as a better shooter than LeBron ever was. And I realize I just went on talking about how the comparisons to LeBron won't ever cease and how it becomes undue pressure. I don't mean to be hypocritical, but for the sake of the video, there are some comparisons to be made. First off, they are completely different players. One's a six foot nine freight train that plays downhill and devastated his opponents with his rare combination of speed, size, strength, and athleticism, while Bronny, on the other hand, is much more compact in size and more slender built which means that they organically play two different styles on the court, certainly have their own cup of tea. But fast twitch athleticism, the basketball IQ, the passing, the showmanship, the poise, it's more the intangibles of Bronny that remind us of LeBron. Well, at least until the day he's running down the open court on a fast break and pulls out LeBron's signature tomahawk dunk from the dotted half line. And let me add quickly, wouldn't it be special to see a Bron to Bronny alley-oop or vice versa? Man, would that bring us chills. So, do you remember when LeBron signed an extension with the Lakers last offseason for another two years? A move that looks viable now on LeBron's end, but a little head-scratching at the time considering that the Lakers were in a tough conundrum with their roster and were coming off a season in which they failed to even make the play-in tournament. And especially considering that LeBron just earlier that year said what he said about playing with Bronny. If Bronny is indeed going to be a one-and-done prospect and declares for the 2024 NBA draft after his freshman season, LeBron can't become an unrestricted free agent until the summer of 2025. LeBron does have a player option next summer in 2024, but I would be beyond shocked if LeBron chose to decline that and become free next summer considering that his player option is worth north of $51 million. I know he's already teased retirement, but don't you think LeBron's even more motivated now to suit up with Bronny in the NBA one day after what just happened? But then again, Bronny could play an extra year at USC and instead declare for the 2025 NBA draft, which would allow LeBron to sign, presumably, with the team Bronny gets drafted to. LeBron and Bronny can play a season, maybe two. It'll be the best feel-good story in sports, and LeBron can then officially hang up his jersey and call it a career in 2026, having played a total of 23 NBA seasons. Wow. Would all of that be something, or what? Now, for those of you saying, wait, what if Bronny doesn't even get drafted? You know, I had that feeling a while ago, but seeing how quickly Bronny has progressed and now that he's looking and feeling more and more like a future NBA prospect, I love his chances of getting his name called early in the draft. Again, being fully confident that this tough kid will bounce back like nothing ever happened to him. Seeing Bronny's progression just three years ago after his freshman year in high school to where he's at now, 
Pair this with the fact that he's LeBron James's son and how LeBron is literally speaking Bronny's NBA career into existence by talking about how he's going to, not if, going to play with him. From what angle can I look at it and say confidently that there's a decent shot he won't be drafted? He just will. Nonetheless, Bronny's heading full steam into his college career and his official path to the NBA is on the horizon. Seeing how he develops next season and how he fares on the college stage is going to be highly revealing for his foreseeable future. And in a way, even LeBron's future, as LeBron sees the end of his career slowly approaching. All the narratives, the storylines on Bronny and LeBron, the potential, the storybook start for Bronny and the storybook end for LeBron. All on the foreseeable come up. Nothing but the best wishes for Bronny. He's one of the faces of the next generation of athletes and all of us are cheering on Bronny for a healthy recovery and a great career up ahead.